Hello guys and welcome to another short Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can draw in Unity and with the mouse and touch swipes on mobile. So let's get started. We will be getting an effect like this where we draw on a plane by clicking the mouse button and then dragging along the cursor. I can delete it and draw it again too. So let's draw something. We'll draw the most beautiful piece of art, but it is, it is just a drawing. Let's start from scratch now. Now that everything has deleted, I have an empty scene with just a camera and a directional light. I will be making a new plane in the hierarchy and reset its transform. Let's name this plane paper because all our writings will be done on it. I will create a new empty game object and let's reset it and name it to pen. Now on this object, I will be attaching this script named draw, which I have in my assets. This script needs two parameters, a camera and a line renderer. Let's drag and drop the main camera in the camera field. I have my main camera on the top of this plane so I can get clear view that I am writing or drawing on a paper. Now we need a line renderer so let's make one. I will make a new empty game object, reset it and name it line renderer. Now add the line renderer component to this game object in the inspector. Let's turn off the shadows because we don't need them. Assign the material to it. I will be using the sprite default material which is present by default in every Unity project. Decrease the width down. Let's change the color so it's visible on white. I will be using a single color that is black. Our line renderer is ready to go. I'll make a prefab of it by dragging it down in the asset folder. We won't need it in the hierarchy so let's delete it. Now assign this prefab to the script. One last thing we need to do is change the tag of the plane so we can write on it. Select the plane. And in the tag field, select the tag writable. You won't have this tag in, in your project, so you have to make one for yourself by dropping down and selecting add a tag. Just click on the plus sign and enter the name of your tag and click on save and your tag should be made. Then just select it and we are ready to draw. Let's play the scene and this is working quite great. Let's change our pen's color to blue by editing the color property of the line renderer prefab. And increase our width a bit as well so it becomes a marker. Let's take a look at the code. At first, we have our two serialized fields to view them in the inspector. Then two private fields. One is line renderer and we have a list of vector trees. In the start function, if we don't have a reference of the camera, it will set it to the main camera automatically. In the update function, when the mouse button is clicked and the function create new line is called once which will instantiate a copy of the prefab we assign and then make it a child of the pen object and then clear the list of positions then as the mouse button is in pressed state it will keep on adding points in the list let's see this function as well it will recast from screen to world from the mouse position and if that ray hits a collider, 
which has a tag writable, it will add a new position in the list where the ray hits the collider. Our plane already has a mesh collider so it works. As the point is added in the list, it is also passed on the line renderer's position array. So in this way, a drawing effect is achieved. And lastly, in the update function, if the key R is pressed, it will destroy all of its childs, which are the line renderer instances, so they are deleted. This was all our short tutorial about the draw effect in Unity. The link will be available in the description to download the script. So this was all for this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. If you have a question, do let me know in the comments. Let me write thank you this time. Thank you.